CQ, CQ, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November, Juliet 7 Victor, calling CQ. Whiskey Delta 5, Charlie Romeo Alpha, November. Okay, two stations there, Whiskey Delta first. Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF, taking you along on my Summits on the Air adventures. If you are just joining my channel, please consider subscribing below and also hitting that bell symbol so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Well, today I'll be activating Spitz Hill, which is east of Flagstaff. This will be another winter bonus activation for me. I'll get that extra three points on top of the 10 that it's already worth. Also, when I get on top, I'll talk to you a little bit about activation zones, the Alpha Zulu, coming up. Waiting for a sign to show me my way in. The only point I reach is frustration. And then back again, then back again Trying, trying to see why I had to lie in Go on the moon with your heart in Then back again, then back again I made it to the summit here, and uh, actually I'm down a little bit from the summit. The summit's behind me, the true high point. If you're new to summits on the air, it might surprise you that you do not have to activate your summit at the true high point. 
as long as you are within 82 feet, 82 vertical feet of the true high point of your summit, you are within the activation zone or the AZ and you have a valid activation. When I say vertical feet, I mean the vertical distance between where you are and the true high point. So, you know, you, you could have your antenna not in the activation zone and still be okay because it's from your position where you are, where you're sitting. Two contrasting activation zones here in Arizona are Goat Hill and Grandview Benchmark. Goat Hill is a very steep summit and has an activation zone that is probably 15 feet square. By contrast, Grandview Benchmark is a very flat, slowly changing uh, elevation and has a, a uh, activation zone of probably a half a mile square. It all has to do with vertical feet and the contour lines of a map you're looking at. Uh, I use my GPS unit. I always bring my GPS unit, even though I know I'm, even if I'm familiar with the area, so I can make sure I can measure from the high point down 82 feet to make sure I, I stay within that activation zone. This rule of being within 82 feet of the high point is there for a good purpose. One of them is what I just mentioned earlier. It gives me room to set up my antenna. There are a lot of others. Oftentimes there's man-made structures on the high point of a summit. There's also busy summits, summits that uh, get a lot of traffic and a lot of people. And it allows you to move away from that high point and uh, discreetly operate the, the uh, summit or uh, to you know, set up next to that uh, man-made structure and still be able to be within a, a uh, valid activation zone. So I just thought it would be a good review for some people who may not know that there is a, an activation zone, that it is 82 vertical feet and that you do not have to always activate on the, the summit. So keep that in mind when you are out and activating your, your uh, peaks. You may, you may find an easier place to set up like I have. Like I said, I am uh, down, the, down from the summit a little bit. The summit's high point is, is uh, behind that tree right up there. Uh, I don't know, it's probably 10 to 15 vertical feet. And I, I, I brought it down here so that I can set up my antenna, maybe run it from one of these trees here over that direction, and then uh, the other leg down over this direction. So with that, I'm gonna get set up.
CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet 7, Victor calling CQ. November 4, Echo X-ray. November 4, Echo X-ray, copy 57. Okay, good uh, afternoon, you're 5555, North Carolina from N4EX, thank you. Yeah, thanks, N4EX, NJ7V, QRZ. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet, 7 Victor calling CQ. November 0, Golf Quebec. November 0, Golf Quebec, copy 5-9, good afternoon. Thank you, 5-9 for you as well. Thank you very much for the contact, 73. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet, 7 Victor calling CQ. CQ, 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 CQ Soda, CQ Soda, November Juliet, 7 Victor calling CQ. Whiskey Delta O5, Charlie Romeo Alpha, November. Okay, two stations there. Whiskey Delta first. Yeah, Whiskey Delta 4, Charlie Foxtrot November. Whiskey Delta 4, Charlie Foxtrot November, copy 5-9, thank you for the contact. Yeah, QSL to 5-9, you are 5x4, 5x4 into Tennessee, 73, and thanks for the activation. Uh, thank you as well, 73. Other station going now. Kilo 5 Zulu Romeo Alpha, copy 5757, over. Here 57 in southwest Louisiana, the handle is Greg, Golf, Rick, golf Radio Echo Golf, 73. Okay, thank you, Greg. Uh, have a good one, 73. Summit to summit, summit to summit, summit to summit. One last call, one last call. DC 652 Denver Delta Corps, DC for summit calling the air. Summit. You got a summit to summit calling you. Summit to summit, summit to summit. Okay, I just heard the summit to summit, raise your my noise level. The summit to summit, go ahead. Yes, uh, November, Juliet, 7, Victor. Norway, Japan, 7, Victoria, over. Is that November, Juliet, 7, Victor? Roger, 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 QSL. You are 4x4, 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 over. QSL, Roger, 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 Roger. My designator is Whiskey 7 Alpha Stroke Charlie Sierra 032. Whiskey 7 Alpha Stroke Charlie Sierra 032. Over. QSL, QSL, thank you for the Summit to Summit. Victor Echo 6, Victor India Delta, QSL, QSL 
well, I'm already packed up and I'm heading down. It was a successful activation. It was a fun time up here. I enjoyed it. I worked quite a few stations, 50 or 60, and uh, I did sideband as well as CW. Just a reminder, make sure you are within the activation zone when you're activating. You don't have to be at that uh, true summit, that high point. You can be within 82 feet of that, 82 feet of elevation gain, that is. So uh, make sure you're aware of where you're at. I know in Arizona there have been a few activators who come from out of town who think they're in the activation zone and they end up not being in the activation zone. So just make sure you're aware, check your surroundings and, and uh, those contour lines, make sure you're at least that 82 feet so you're in the activation zone and and uh, your activation is valid i appreciate those of you who chased me today it was a fun time and and i appreciate all of you who watch these uh videos i appreciate you subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet consider doing so you can catch me on twitter at nj7v underscore or you can catch me on instagram at red summit rf so with that get out there and try activating a summit if you haven't done so yet if you're new to summits on the air and good luck to all those who are the regulars 73 to you until next time